Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. All right, so Black Clover is going to start again as of today, tomorrow, which is the 31st of the 7th, according to Viz. That's apparently when the new chapter's coming out, and I can't wait. So pretty much, I caught up on the anime not too long ago, me and my girlfriend watched it, and I kind of got impatient, and I really didn't want to have to wait for the anime to come back. So I just started reading the manga. And I'm not going to lie to you, don't even feel bad about it. I really don't. <laughs> it was so good. Alright, so there are a few little bits that I want to talk about. I can't remember everything because there was like 60 chapters I had to read. So, But the fights I've been enjoying. And enjoying? Enjo enjoying. The fights I've been enjoying. The, uh, the first one with the, like, the double twins with the, the fire and ice that uh, Asta had a fight with and uh, knock, knocked. Yes, knocked had a fight with. Really cool. I kind of like that one. I'm not going to lie to you. The uh, the Lucifero fight at the end was a little bit old, underwhelming. They like showed just how powerful he was, you know, literally stopping Asta's anti magic sword with one finger with nothing but a pinprick. And, you know, screaming and freaking anger because, obviously, Alistair had hurt him. And he's never really been hurt before because he's, you know, the almighty Lucifero. All that happened and then all of a sudden, you know, Alistair, you know, just kind of got stronger and just beat his ass in, like, three hits or something. It, it, it was one of those fights where, you know, I'm assuming they probably didn't know how they were going to finish it. And they just kind of were like, yes, Asta will just get stronger and then just end the fight real quick. And it'll be great because they'll show how strong he is. Which is cool and I'm all up for Asta showing off. I absolutely love when Asta shows off. It's great. But at the same time, it seems like a bit of a cop-out. They just kind of were like, oh yes, Asta, slice him. You can slice him now. Slice him three times. Cut his heart out. Eat it. For all I care. I don't know. You do you. So yeah. The Lucifero fight. I'm not going to lie to you. was a little bit underwhelming for me. But there was a few things that did happen. That really surprised me. I love Magna's new ability. Because he knew like he wasn't getting like stronger per se. And the fact that he was a commoner. Meant he didn't have the magic reserves of a royal. So just gained the ability. Or learned the magic ability. To just connect. Via a chain. And just bring us both to the same level. So you are literally on the same playing ground. Asta, uh, Asta Magna has obviously got really good like combative skills. That like he really likes to fight and all that. So it worked really well. Because chances are he's going to win in a fight. In a fist fight. Compared to somebody else who just relies on magic. So it's a really, really cool ability that he learned. And I really enjoyed doing that. Uh, doing that. I really enjoyed reading that. Noel. That sappy sappy person she finally finally declared her love ah oh, i mean not to Asta, but she declared her love to herself for Asta. was like oh yes finally i do love him and i'm like yeah what's well, about time i mean you know i've only known this since day one but you know who will he pick though that's the thing will he pick sister lily because I'm not going to lie to you, I would probably pick Sister Lily over Noelle. But that's just me. Maybe I've got to think for nuns. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know who he'd actually pick. Because, obviously, this whole thing with Sister Lily's been happening since day one. Now Noelle's going to end up confessing her love. And I'm assuming he's obviously going to pick Noelle. Because, you know, when Sister Lily's a, a woman of the cloth, she don't sleep with anyone. So, I'm assuming he'll just... Go with Noel and realize, oh, I actually do love Noel. And they'll have beautiful babies, and they'll have anti-water magic, and it'll be nuts. But uh, yeah, I uh, I really like that part when she finally finally realized, even though she's still super awkward about it, she still punches him, she still can't speak to him, but she knows in her own head now that she actually does love him, and she's confessed it to us as well. So now we know that she knows that she loves him, which is great. The you know thing, right, okay, this blew my mind, I did not, normally I have like an inkling, like I'm, I'm oh yeah, this is probably going to happen, then it does, and I'm like, yeah, I called it. Him having two grimoires, two different magics, I did not see coming at all, and honestly, I'm kind of confused as to how he has that. 
Of course, it's like, I think his dad has like sun magic, his mom has moon magic or whatever, or the other way around. So obviously he has star magic. That bit makes sense. I get where they're, they're getting the star magic from. But how all of a sudden does he just get a four-leaf wind grimoire and have wind magic forever? Because I was like, you can't just get magic just because he's in the Clover Kingdom. And now because he was raised there, he got a different magic. But his true magic lies in the Spade Kingdom. And just don't, I don't understand <laughs> that. I really don't understand where they were going from there. But I'm not going to complain about it. It was it was super cool and came out of absolutely nowhere. And, I, and, I, and I'm all up for that. But now I have a feeling, because obviously they've all been com com oh God. they've all been competing for the Wizard King. The title of Wizard King. But I have a feeling now that you know knows that he's, you know, a prince and his dad's still alive. Was his mom still alive as well? I can't remember. But and, oh, it might have been his mom. I'm not sure. Someone was alive. And uh, he's now the prince. So will he just rule the Spade Kingdom as the, the Wizard King of the Spade Kingdom? And let Asta be the Wizard King in the Clover Kingdom? I would say let Asta. He, Asta would probably do it anyways because you know he's cool as fuck but i don't know if that's the way they're going to go about it he's just going to rule the spade kingdom and asta's going to rule the the clover kingdom well rule the clover kingdom i hope they go that way because it'll be cool because then they kind of both get what they want even though realistically asta kind of got what he wanted but you know but yeah i thought that was really cool the star magic was really really cool i really enjoyed that and I did not see it coming whatsoever but now getting to the meat of it I am missing a crap ton of chat as I'm only talking about the little bits that I really like was just mind blown with. Because there was a lot of crap where I was just so hyped. And like, you know, stuff was... I, I'm I'm literally sat here in my house going, oh, <laughs> what? I'm like by myself. If I had the curtains open, people would think I was a nut job. But, you know, that's just me. I get hyped when I watch something or when I read something. I don't know. But the, the final... The, everyone's going to know what I'm going on about here. Yeah. The final chapter, the, the latest chapter. So, I'm a magnet for spoilers. I don't know why, but I just am. I Whatever I start watching, I'll get a spoiler for it somehow, and I'll get multiple of them. I've had them for One Piece, I got them for Naruto when I was watching Naruto. I got them for um, Black Clover, Demon Slayer, Bleach, you name it. I, I got it spoiled for me. But... My friend, give me the old Razzle McDazzle. Now, what I mean by that is, I always say it when I play DBD. Basically, if I like twirl around real quick and the and the killer misses the hit, I call it the Razzle McDazzle or the Razzle Dazzle, whatever you want to call it. Which is basically when you know the, it's a hit and a miss, pretty much. So I found out ages ago that you know there was something up with Julius. But I saw people in the comments being like, "Oh, what did everyone think about the Julius?" Uh, plot twist, and I was like, oh god, no. Then I searched up Julius Nova Chrono on Google. First thing that popped up, Julius Nova Chrono, secretly evil. And I was like, oh, fuck's sake. Then, I was on Instagram, and a picture popped up, and it was like the fourth, uh, whatever the, the Spade Kingdom people are called, the three the devils. It starts with a Z, I'm pretty sure, but whatever, the fourth one of them was... And I was looking at it for ages, and I was like, that symbol looks an awful lot like... Oh, my good God. So I was like, that's great. No problem. So I texted my friend. I was like, look, I, I, I've i seen so much stuff. He's evil. I know he's secretly evil or something. Thanks, internet, for the spoilers. And he, full on, like, he always tries to play it off. Like, oh, yeah, that's not that. It's this. And I, and I can always usually tell when he's lying. But the one time he sprinkles in a bit of truth... Or at least I think he's sprinkling in a bit of truth. It turns out he's not at all. And he was like, look, I'll just tell you. Basically, it's Julius' brother. He has four siblings. That one uh, is kind of evil. And went like the devil route while he went, you know, the wizard king route. So basically, he just like, he looks like him. That's why the symbols on his head and stuff like that. And I was like... I don't know why I believed him because normally I don't and I was just it was just so believable I was like oh well I mean that kind of sucks that I've got that spoiled for me because that's probably going to be a big reveal but I was like yeah all right fair enough that's it is what it is razzle mcdazzle when I get to the freaking the chapter and I start reading it 
Turns out that wasn't the case at all. And it, uh, it turns out that Julius had just been... It was basically a pottery situation where the demon thing was like inside of Julius and it just took over him and came out. So Julius technically isn't evil, he just had something evil inside of him. And I was just, my, I was just mind blown. I was like, I, I texted him, I was like, you son of a bastard. I was like, how, how could you lie? You know I'm never going to believe you again, right? But yeah, he fully got me on that one. But I'm kind of glad he did because because I believed him so much. And I was like, yes, I know what the big reveal is. I'm not going to be that bothered by it now. It was still a massive surprise to me. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I appreciate the fact that he managed to make that lie up because it actually helped me. And it, uh, it still gave me that, that thrill of, of, of getting that big reveal. So, yeah, that was nuts. I cannot wait for the... I, I need to know what was going on. I'm... And I really don't want to have to start waiting like a week. Because I, I read all like 60 odd chapters. Well, I've read like 30 or uh, 20 of them. And then I read like basically the other like 40 in like one day. Because just every chapter I was end on a cliffhanger. And I needed to know what was happening next. So, I really, like, I'm going to be a bit gutted that, you know, it's going to be a week basis. But I can make reviews of it now. So, that's going to be cool. But yeah. I would give Black Clover so far like a solid 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. The fights were a bit underwhelming. The Lucifera one, like I say, that was a bit underwhelming. But there's been a lot of oh my god moments in it. And I always love the fights regardless because they're really cool. And they have the cool moments. And I like, obviously, man, I love, I absolutely love magic. So anything to do with that is just an A-OK -okay in my books. But yeah, just wanted to make this quick video to say I caught up on the, the Black Clover manga. I loved it. There was a few things that absolutely blew my mind. Especially the last part in the, the you know, having two grimoires. Absolutely nuts. I can't speak about everything, otherwise the, the video would be like a half an hour long. And I really, I don't want to make it that long. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to read the new chapter tomorrow. I'll make a video about it when it comes out. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy Black Clover when it comes back. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's kind of just a random video of just letting you guys know that I have caught up in what the key points that I really got mind blown with. Nothing extravagant. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, my little rant. Uh, please, if you do like it, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, do anything you like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, with the new Black Clover chapter. Hell yeah, cannot wait. Hope you guys have a good day and I shall see you then.